Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goals Bible. Uh, Chelsea nail, Liverpool nail, full time. It is all over. I mean, plenty of hugs in this match, but no winning goals. A point apiece for these two. Chelsea had the better chance, particularly in the first half through Kovacic and Havertz. But Liverpool hold on, hold, hold on for the point. Uh, the Red State eighth, uh, moving above Brentford, but seeing Aston Villa overtake them. Chelsea stay 11th. I mean, what a disappointing game. Disappointing game. I thought we would see more. I thought these two teams would attack and be more uh, proactive and try to create chances and be more offensive in this game, but they weren't. They weren't. Uh, first half, Chelsea tried, but in the second half, it was just... Both, the, both the, these two teams were just canceling each other's out. Um, Liverpool, of course, well below their standard. I mean, they were struggling in this game from start to finish. Chelsea were by far the better team in this match. Uh, the only problem for Chelsea in this match was finishing chances. I think first half they created a couple of chances. They struggled by, badly to finish chances. But if they had a centre forward, if they had anybody, I mean, it could be it could be Lukaku, it could be any person up there today. They would have won this game. I think they were just lacking a forward. I don't know what's going on with Aubameyang, but Aubameyang, if he's available, why is he not playing? This is the game that he should be playing, and he, he was scoring goals for Barcelona as well, but for some reason, Chelsea are not using him. But that is their problem. That is the concern for Chelsea. They just can't finish, and they can't score goals. Uh, Liverpool, where they were really below their best today. Man of the match, who should I give it to? I mean, I would definitely give it to Enzo Fernandez. I think Enzo, Enzo Fernandez did really well. Not many standout candidates uh, in this game, but Enzo Fernandez did did okay to just put uh, uh, to control the midfield for Chelsea and to actually try to connect the defense with the offense as well. So I would give it to him. But do let me know in the comment sections who was your man of the match in this game. Let's quickly take a look at the table here. So as things stands, like I mentioned earlier, this is how it is. Chelsea are eleventh. And Liverpool are eighth, just above Aston Villa. So next game, next game is crucial for both these two teams. Next game for Chelsea is against Wolves away from home. And Liverpool are playing at home against Arsenal. So it's a must win game for them. Do you guys still think these two could actually finish in the top four? I doubt it. I doubt it. I think they blew their chance today. They had to win. One of them had to win today to have a chance of finishing in the top four. Of course, Tottenham are struggling, but I don't see Newcastle crumbling down and I don't see Manchester United uh, crumbling down as well. Just 10, 11 games left to the Premier League now. And it's very unlikely to see Liverpool or Chelsea finish in the top four. But do let me know in the comment sections what you guys think. You think Chelsea will finish in the top four? Or do you think Liverpool will finish in the top four? But... Look, I mean, at least the new coach for Chelsea or the assistant coach that I call Bruno uh, has done OK in this game. I think he has improved this team. It's a much better team looking uh, than when Grand Potter had this team. Grand Potter was just consecutively losing matches. Uh, and I think it'll be a big test for Chelsea. Of course, they do have the Champions League coming up as well. So that is also another focus that they have something to play for this season. Unlike Liverpool, Liverpool don't have anything to play for this season. Top four, that's it. They are out of the competition. All competitions, they are out. And top four was their aim. Can they still make it? I doubt it. I doubt it. Next game against Arsenal, like I mentioned, it's going to be tough. It's definitely going to be tough. But thank you for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you smash a like on the, on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel as well. But that is it, people. This is my match reaction. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.